many people believe that decentralized finance is the future for financial system it is absolutely trustworthy because there is no governmental agency to oversee these virtual currencies there is no impact of country wide political imbalance as well furthermore these virtual currency systems run on blockchain which is basically a program framework that can never be altered although all of this sounds extremely elegant and trustworthy there is one big issue standing in the way of this decentralized financial systems to take over mainstream finance and that is scalability let me sort of give you guys a head start to visualize this problem the payment provider visa can process 65000 transactions per second bitcoin on the other hand can handle up to 7 transactions per second with the current block size of 1 mb now imagine how much time will it take for your bitcoin transaction to get verified it would undoubtedly take hours or it could also take few days this clearly suggests that this main blockchain is not so scalable but it doesn't have to be right the bitcoin community has come up with the new technique called lightning network to solve this scalability issue now the question here is how does lightning network solve these problems well let's find out but before we do that you guys should hit that subscribe button and bell icon to never miss any interesting tech update from intellipath youtube channel all right without any ado let's understand what is the bitcoin lightning network the lightning network is a second layer that is added to a bitcoin blockchain to allow off chain transactions you can relate this network with flyovers that have been created to streamline the traffic control system by helping to reduce congestion the lightning network takes away regular bitcoin transactions of the main bitcoin network and by doing so it reduces the overall transactional traffic which further leads to much faster transaction approvals and lowers the associated fees it's sort of a two bird one stone situation since the lightning network does not only attempt to decongest the main network but is also a solution in itself such that transactions conducted on it are faster and cheaper than those conducted directly on the core blockchain so how does the bitcoin lightning network work well before we understand that you first need to know a few basics about bitcoin as mentioned earlier a primary bitcoin blockchain is coded to only perform around 7 transactions per second this means only the transactions from the senders who pay the highest fees will get validated and since bitcoin is very popular the fee to be included in the blockchain block has been up to 50 dollars in the past imagine drinking a coffee in a restaurant and while you check out the restaurant charges you extra 50 dollars under the name of service and while agreeing to do so you still got to wait for 10 more minutes or rather hours because this cafe has a very slow validation process so will you like to visit this cafe i know i know you will never right but this is what was happening with the bitcoin blockchain before an inception of lightning network The payments of Bitcoin are validated by people running blockchain programs on their systems whom we call miners. These people will only validate your transaction quickly if they are going to get higher gains out of it. And for this service they are going to charge you a good amount of money which is not so fair and acceptable right? This is one of the problems that the Bitcoin Lightning network addresses. The Bitcoin network creates payment channels between users allowing them to send and receive payments from one another. The magic happens in how the transaction are processed which is completely different from the main network where every transaction has to be validated. The Lightning network allows two parties to send and receive payments indefinitely without telling the main network. As a result, the main blockchain only records the creation and shutting of payment channels. The network is maintained by nodes that route payments. To keep the network decentralized, these nodes are run by the everyday people or corporations running a program on their computers. Okay, let's take a practical example of the Lightning network in action. Let's say Alex buys a coffee at the same cafe every day. Since the shop accepts Bitcoin as a payment, Alex has the choice of making a minor transaction for each coffee cup every day. That is 
if he doesn't mind waiting 10 minutes to an hour for his transaction to be authenticated as well as paying the related exorbitant cost. But Alex is smart. Instead of opting the regular Bitcoin transaction, he chooses the Lightning Network. He establishes a payment channel with the store and deposits $100 worth Bitcoin in it. The shop, on the other hand, does not send money through this route. However, it will generate an invoice, which is frequently represented by QR codes. So, if Alex has to make a payment, he just scans the QR code with his Lightning wallet and enters his private key to send over the money. So now, all of his transactions with the shop are gonna happen instantly and way cheaper. What happens in the background is that the Lightning Network creates smart contracts between Alex and Coffee Shop. Once some predetermined requirements are met, this set of codes automatically fulfills the contract between two parties. Requirements for example could be Alex paying the correct amount for the coffee beverage he has picked up that day. And once this requirement is fulfilled, the contract will be executed automatically without any third party. Another interesting thing about the Lightning Network is that it does not need to create pairs between all the users. For example, Alex who is having channel with the shop has another channel with Rachel. However, Rachel does not have a channel with the shop, but funds still can be freely transformed between Rachel and the coffee shop via Alex. Basically, the network finds the shortest route between you and the shop through others in the network. On that note, let's discover some advantages of Bitcoin Lightning Network. The apparent benefit of the Lightning Network are quicker and cheaper transactions, allowing micropayments in ways never possible before. Without the Lightning Networks, user would have to pay high fees for a simple transaction and then wait an hour or maybe for it to validate. Many times, Smaller transactions had longer waiting times in primary Bitcoin blockchain. The reason being, miners always choose to validate larger transactions with higher bids that can provide them with a big income. The Lightning Network is connected to the Bitcoin blockchain existing as a layer on top of it. The connection means that the Lightning Network still benefits from Bitcoin security protocols. User can then choose the main blockchain for bigger transactions and swap to the Lightning Networks off-chain for smaller ones without worrying about safety. The Lightning Network payment channels also provide private transactions, as onlookers cannot take a peek at every individual transaction, instead only the overall package. Let me give you guys an example of security measures over Lightning Networks. Let's say, me and my friend want to conduct a series of bets with a total value of 1 Bitcoin. We open up an off-chain payment channel between us and each of us deposits 0.5 bitcoins as a security deposit. Technically, this transaction will happen on bitcoin's primary blockchain layer which will create the payment channel between me and my friend. Let's say I lose a bet and have to pay my friend 0.1 bitcoin. We'll both sign a transaction in our off-chain ledger declaring that I now have 0.4 bitcoins and he now has 0.6 bitcoins. If my friend wishes to live with the winnings, he can simply show the network our signed ledger and the deposits will be repaid based on the new balances. This closing transaction will also take place on layer 1 network. But let's say for instance, I don't want to pay my friend 0.1 bitcoin and I sort of try to pull back all of my 0.5 bitcoin out of security. In that case, the whole deposit of 1 Bitcoin will be sent to my friend. Such severe sanctions are in place to prohibit people from attempting to cheat. That's all we have for this particular session. I hope the fundamentals of Bitcoin Lightning Network are clear to all of you guys out there. If you have any concerns about the concepts covered in this video, please feel free to drop them in the comment section below and our 24 by 7 team of experts will be delighted to resolve all of them. Until next time, thank you. Also make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel in order to stay tuned for more digital tech updates. Just a quick info guys, IntelliPad provides blockchain certification training mentored by industry experts, the course link of which is given in the description below.